welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you a nice free verse code which you can get on my Patreon for free. Just click the link in the bio down below. If you find any bugs, if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to join my Discord and there you can ask anything about this verse code and find more cool and nice looking free stuff and help. In the verse code you can connect triggers and with those triggers you can obviously connect it to whatsoever. Let's just say to a button and now I'm going to increase the progress. You see it increased by 10% and with this button it will increase by 25% and you could also decrease it and when we reach the progress you will see a trigger gets triggered and we can connect whatever we like. I connected it with an HD message device and a simple message congrats and now I'm going to show you how you can adjust it and also change it up. So let's set it up. So first you're gonna find your verse explorer. If you don't know where it is just make sure to hover over this verse thing right here and there you can just click on verse explorer and you will see this stuff right here now i'm gonna right click in here and add a new verse file to my project i'm just gonna name it progress ui now i'm gonna create an empty file now you can just double press on in here and it will open it up automatically now we'll see we have an empty file looking like this now you're gonna find the verse code on my patreon for free but you can just add it inside of here and there it is, we can close down and now I'm just gonna click on the verse comment right here and build the verse code. Now you have the verse device in your game which you can just place down and now we have a lot of settings right here which seem to be complicated but they're really not so let's set it up. First you want to adjust the completion points so the points that you need for completion. Let's just say we need a thousand points. Now we're gonna have the option right here to change the bar color. I would like the bar progress color to be green and the background color to be white. Now, as you can see, we have a option here that we can connect the completion trigger, search for a trigger device. There it is. Let's rename it completion progress. There I'm gonna disable the trigger VFX and the trigger uh, sound effect. I don't like those F options. If you want, you can just keep them. And I'm gonna connect it with the verse device. First, before I come to those settings, you have an option to also add in more triggers. So let's just press on the plus add element and drag this down. Now, I'm just gonna copy the trigger and rename it. So trigger progress increase level one maybe let's just say we have a parkour map so level one now we can just connect this trigger and adjust the number so how many points it will give the player for the progress so this trigger will give 10 points when a player triggers this trigger so let's just connect this trigger with let's just say a button so I'm just gonna press on trigger, trigger, when this button is pressed, I'm gonna rename this button, and there it is. I'm gonna add in another trigger device, and here I'm gonna name it, and I'm gonna connect this trigger with this button right here. And now I'm gonna create a second element, drag this down, and connect it with this trigger. Here, as you can see, we set the completion points up for 1000 points, so I want points to give the minus 1000 so that will fully decrease the progress when we press this button you could connect the trigger with a mute header zone with any device there is uh, which is pretty cool and i'm going to add in another trigger and that this trigger will also increase progress by 10 percent 10 percent i'm going to connect this trigger obviously with this button right here on interact and name it button increase 10%. Same thing with this message, so increase progress. And I'm gonna connect the trigger with my device and change the points to give. So we have 1000 points for the completion. So 10% would be 100 points per interaction. And there it is. But now we can go to this settings right here, to the UI settings. For that, I just made a new folder. Here I'm just gonna create a user interface and a widget blueprint. You can name it whatsoever. And now it's really important that you add in a canvas panel and also an image just so you can know where your progress bar will be and how it will look like. So let's just say I have the background color set to white. 
Let's just say I'm gonna change it to a dark blue, right? Copy this hex code right here, click OK. Also change my image that it has the same color. So let's just go in here and add in the hex codes. And there it is, you see, I have the blue hex codes. And now I can really position it wherever I want. So let's just say I want the progress bar to be right here. Now I'm gonna change the anchors up. So make it to the center maybe, because I want it to be, let's just say here. And now we can change up the size. So it should be this big and this wide, maybe even like that. But don't forget to add an alignment. So 0 0.5 and 0.5. Now we can adjust it to the position where you want it to be. Drag this tab right here and adjust the size. And now I can just simply add in those numbers in here. So let's just put it to 270 and 368 full numbers. And here you see we have the anchor position. So if you don't know how anchors work, top left means 0, 0. Obviously you can check it out here. So 0.5 and 0. This means 1 and 0. And obviously it keeps on going. My anchor is in the middle left. So I also need to adjust it in my first device. So here it is, middle left, zero and 0.5. And the position on the X ax is 270. So I'm just gonna add it into here. If you didn't know, you can hold down shift and right click into those values. And then when you are at the position where you want to add it, you can just simply shift and left click into the value and it will be added there. I messed this up a bit, so I'm just gonna adjust it. Just like that. The anchor is zero. And this way you can really make sure to be quick with your work. So size is 368. I'm just gonna pull down shift and right click and add it into here. Same thing with the Y size. And now we are basically done. You can also change up the update interval, but I'm just gonna keep it like that because it looks fine. Now we can just push changes and see how it looks in game. So now we are finally in game and you see we have the progress bar right where we wanted it to be. Now with the buttons, we can check it out. So increase progress by 1% and here it should increase the progress by 10%. There we go, it works perfectly fine. Here we can decrease the progress fully. Now, let's just say I don't like the position or I don't like the color of my progress bar. It's pretty easy and simple. I'm just gonna go into here, change it up to, let's just say, uh, right here. I don't like the color, so I'm just gonna keep it white. And I'm just gonna change the anchor up to center right. That's it. Now I'm just gonna adjust the settings right here. So change the color. And we're basically done. You could also change up the size of it. So let's just say I want to make it uh, longer a bit like that. It's going to change up the position up again and also the size. So five, three, six. There you go. Now I'm just going to change the bar color. Up. So when I increase the progress, it will look like this. Now you're probably wondering that it takes up a lot of time when you play around with the size and the position, etc but in reality it doesn't because you could just go in here build the verse code and now you could click on this push verse changes and it will literally take one second so i just pressed it let's just go in game you see it already loading and i'm just gonna show you that it really works quickly and there it is we already in game and you see there is the bar when we increase progress it is blue increase by 10 percent you see and it works as it should work. If you like the video and want to support us, make sure to use code on Fable in the item shop. And if you're looking for more cool materials, help or whatever, check out the Discord and also our paid Patreon page. Here you can find another video. Check out this playlist if you would like to learn more stuff about UEFN.